What's up everybody? Welcome to a new video here on Charleston Car Videos. I'm going to tell you today about a truck that came back to us and uh, it's a very nice truck. It's a Dodge Ram truck. So stay with me on today's video. I'll tell you all about this Dodge Ram truck. It's got a little story behind it. Stay with us. Right, everybody so before we get into today's story about this Dodge Ram truck I want to show it to you let you see it look how pretty it is right I mean what a beautiful Dodge Ram truck I mean the headlights are nice and shiny got the chrome got the alloy looking wheels down there I mean look at the tires on the Ram truck got plenty of tread on the Ram truck it's a 1500 series even has the four doors it's not a crew cab I'm not sure but it is definitely a four-door truck look at the inside I mean it's clean it's got back seats a rear tinted window you got tinted over there I mean this is a pretty decent Ram truck right I mean keep looking at it folks look at this truck it's immaculate it's clean it doesn't have leather it's not a freaking big horn edition but it does got the infinity stereo system in here I mean look at the mileage on it 184,000 miles the mirror looks good the headliner's good it's clean it's never been smoked in I mean it's a Dodge Ram truck it's a gas truck not a diesel truck it's got a spray and bed liner in the back of the truck how about that I mean, I'm trying to see. It's an SLT. It even has the tow package on this Dodge Ram truck. So a few months ago, I actually sold that Dodge Ram truck. I did. I sold it. Just like today, I sold that Ford truck. Well, here's what happened. We bought that truck from the auto auction out of Charleston, South Carolina on a Friday morning. Friday, yeah. Yes, they're here. Let's go. Holy mackerel, the seats are actually working on the Volkswagen Passat. I've tried to sell this car a couple times and the power seat on the Volkswagen Passat didn't work, which caused customers not to buy it because the seat didn't work. But for some reason, magically, it's working now. But here's the thing. Can't sell the Passat because the two back tires back there need replacing. They got either a bubble in them or there's something going on and it makes the car shake really bad while driving down the road. But anyways, once we get it fixed, we'll sell it, I promise. So that Dodge Ram truck, I sold it on a Saturday. The customers came in on a Saturday morning looking for a truck. And I said, guys, we just purchased it at the auction yesterday. It hasn't run through the shop yet. The mechanic is on vacation on a honeymoon of some sort. Won't be back for the following week. And, uh, you know, we, you're more than welcome to check it out, test drive it, and you can buy it if you want. But please remember, we haven't had time to get it checked out yet. So there you go. Well, the customer saw it and he drove it and he, him and his father really looked over it very thoroughly and, um, and even test drove it and this, that and the other and they ended up falling in love with it and they ended up buying that truck. So I'm going to tell you what was going to happen here right as we get a key to a car and let this customer go out and test drive some stuff. There's a reason why that truck is back here today and I made a video about it a couple months ago some of y'all might remember but this is part two all right everybody so we are locking up oh and it's getting dark all right buddy so we had a long day here at the dealership i mean extremely long saturday and uh ended up with three car deal day today which was uh, pretty nice but um, one thing for sure it was a freaking long day we're talking all day yeah we usually close at five o'clock on Saturdays we were here until 7 30 so anyway some people have longer days in the car business but that was long for me today but yeah there's the Ram truck we were telling our story about the Ram truck earlier then I had a customer come in and 
pretty much been with this person since about five o'clock two and a half hours later sometimes it takes time to sell someone a car you know I mean you got to go through the strokes with them show them the cars tell them what's going on with the cars okay I mean give me a break people that um, sell cars and try to just you know be slick and you know don't tell customers what necessarily is going on with the cars those are the type of salespeople that basically make all of us good salespeople look bad and um, I just don't appreciate those types of sales people but uh, anyways the Dodge Ram truck I did a video on a few months ago I sold that truck on a Saturday we bought it on a Friday and basically the guy really wanted it he was here with his dad he spent about an hour here checking it out everything we ended up negotiating and you know coming with some figures that he wanted to pay for the truck cash and he bought it by about um, about 30 minutes to 45 minutes after leaving the dealership on a Saturday he gets back home to Charleston which is about 15 20 minutes away from here and he said by the time he got to his neighborhood the truck was doing some crazy stuff it was overheating um, smoking just doing some wild crazy stuff and anyways his dad and him had called me I was extremely busy that day I definitely remember that day and uh, I finally got in touch with them again a little bit later in the afternoon and come to find out his dad had told me that his son's truck that he just bought had a blown head gasket they were not very happy campers because they had just bought it and right after leaving the head gasket's blown. Well, let me tell you something, folks. If you got a blown head gasket on your vehicle, you might as well park it in the yard because it's not going anywhere anytime soon because that engine is not able to be driven with a blown head gasket. And basically, now the truck, since the guy drove it from here all the way into Charleston, it did more than blow a head gasket. It pretty much cracked the block. It did everything it could do because of a few reasons. A dealer that take, took the truck and sold it at the auction, they took the truck and knew it had a blown head gasket and they finagled with the truck to make it seem like there wasn't a problem. And here's what they did. They took the thermostat on the truck out. Whatever they did, I'm no mechanic, I may be a little bit wrong, but from what I heard, they took the thermostat out of the truck. What happens when you take the thermostat out? When the truck overheats, it doesn't tell the gauge inside the truck that the truck is overheating. And it supposedly can kind of, you know, let you get it by at the auction for someone else to buy it, and then they're stuck with it. That's what another dealer did, and that customer had thought we did that, and that wasn't the case at all. So anyways, long story short, the customer was extremely upset, wanted to call the news companies, the attorney general. He made all kinds of threats to us due to this situation. We explained to him we didn't do that. We didn't know it had a blown head gasket. All this back and forth for over a month to two months. Well, what happens? The dealership, the guys that own the store, I guess they got in touch with the guy that bought the truck. And guess what we did? We did the right thing. We actually bought the truck back from the guy. The guy got a total refund. We got the truck. Now we got to fix it. But we did what was right. And that was getting the guy, giving the guy his money back that he had spent on the truck. That was the right thing to do. And hats off to the guys that own this store that really took care of the customer. It may have taken a couple months, but we took care of the customer. It's January, it was time to get things straight, and that's what the guys at work here did. Congrats to them for doing that, and that really makes a huge difference in my book towards these guys for doing that kind of thing. Wow. All right, so anyways, you heard what I had to say, and uh, we got it, got it out the way. And uh, you know, that is the right thing to do, you know? It really is. Anyways, I really enjoy working here selling cars. Um, as soon as my attitude started getting better about just working here and, and the cars, it seems like I've, my sales has kind of gone up. Today was a great day. I ended up selling this Ford truck right here. Um, a very nice truck. Actually, a lady that works at the Dollar General next door actually purchased the truck for her husband. So congratulations to her on her new, or, or 2003 Ford uh, F-150. I'm going to lock it up before I leave tonight just to make sure, uh, you know, it's locked. But uh, 
You know, one thing you gotta take into consideration, folks, when you're out there looking at used cars, you know, please remember that when you're looking at vehicles in this two to $3,000 price range, again, I mean, probably 75% of the cars I sell every week are from $1,000 to $3,000. You know, when you're looking at cars in that price range, you got to, um, you know, you got to realize that the cars aren't going to be perfect by any means at all. I mean, they're not going to be perfect. They're going to have a few things wrong with them. And uh, just the main thing is to try to find the best car you can find in that price range. You know, I mean, hell, the car I drive, folks, is a old 01 Honda CRV. One headlight works. This one over here, it's hard to see, but that one's dim. That one's bright. I mean, every night before I leave work, I gotta come out here to my car and basically play around in here to get that light to brighten up for me because I don't wanna be on the road at night with a headlight dim where I'm gonna get pulled over and possibly get a ticket, you know? And it's a safety thing. I mean, my car, folks, it's leaking oil every day. It's leaking transmission fluid every day. I have no power steering. The power steering pump is completely gone. I finally got my driver window work or fixed. I got a new window and had it put in, and then they tell me the regulator's broke. So I can't even roll down my driver window. I don't have a perfect car myself. And a guy asked me tonight, he said, why don't you work for a nicer dealership that drives or has sells nicer cars? You seem like a really good salesperson, right? Well, there's reasons why I'm working here at this dealership, okay? And one of the reasons is that I've always worked in the new car dealerships. Seriously, since 1999 and 2000, I've been working in new car dealerships. I've never worked for a used car dealership like this. And I wanted to learn this side of the business. And on top of that, I really have kind of gotten tired of dealing with the people and just the way new car dealerships work. I'm just sick of it, I'm tired of it. I've always gotten burned out or they've burned me. I mean, I'm just fed up with the new car dealership stuff. If I could just review cars, new cars, that would be great. But as being a, uh, a, a person that gets paid from the dealership working for the new car store, there's just too much, um, there's no loyalty there with them. I always stay working for them, but they always figure out a way to fire me and let me go due to money or whatever reasons it is. Now, again, I'm human. Things go wrong. I get burned out on stuff, you know? So I'm only human, but I really am having fun at the used car store. So for some of y'all that say, oh, you need to go work in a new car dealership. Look, I've been doing that for the last 15 years. This has been a little bit fun. I can dress how I want to dress. And I'm telling you, they're really, it really takes more of a salesman to sell this kind of stuff than to sell a brand new Honda. Just saying. But anyways, congrats to Auto Buy Center management team for taking the time and going over and beyond to buy back the Dodge Ram truck that had a blown head gasket when the man bought it. I hated that deal when it happened. I felt bad for the guy. We got a horrible review online due to it. But now we can go back and look and make a video like this and hopefully the customer will go online and fix his review. All right, everybody, have a good night. Thanks for watching and uh, as you can see, it's time to hit the streets in the old Honda. With 203,000 miles. Dang, it's time to get a new car. I mean, I'm ready for it. Peace.
so this week I made a video. Oh, 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 oh boy. Yeah. I think, I think, I think everybody seems. Oh, 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 oh.